Hi right, people, this is Angel from PRDV Entertainment and here I am once again bringing you guys the tutorials for the Unreal Engine in HD. Uh, this, uh, I have done this because it was asked by a couple of users on my YouTube channel. So I am here to bring you guys the best I can uh, to my channel. Now, uh, this is going to be very basic and simple. Uh, like I said, the first tutorial this is only for beginners. No advanced expla uh, explanations here. Uh, let's start first of all with uh, what we are going to be making here. And what are we going to be doing is that we are going to create a floor, four walls, one uh, light point, one player start, and one path node, at least uh, that it can spawn five enemies on the map. Now, I'm going to teach you guys really quick about the interface so we can start working with this. Uh, first of all, here on the top of your toolbars, you have the arrow, so you can select... Uh, the things, uh, the objects that you have on your map. Now you have uh, the translation mode. From here, you can choose whatever if you want to pull it up, put it uh, to the side, or pull it down. Now you have the rotation mode, so you can rotate your objects on on the screen, and you can have the scaling mode, so you can make the objects bigger or smaller. Now. On your left panel, we'll be working only with the cube. So this is only for, uh, we're going to be working with the cube so we can create the floor and the walls. And we are going to be working also with the CSG. So you can add some CSG to the floor and the walls. So you can add textures to those, uh, to those walls and the floor later on. Now, we'll, uh, and the other part that we're going to be using is the content browser. The content browser is in the top of the window. It's so right here, it has a black icon on it. it. says open the content browser or you can press your control key plus shift plus F. Now, so let's start with the tutorial. First of all, click on new, create a new level. Let's choose blank map. Now you will have this black, uh, this dark map. It has blue lines and a, uh, and, uh, cube with uh, red lines on the middle now let's add uh, the floor first so right click on the cube and let's change the size of that cube that we have um, with red lines on the middle so we'll put for the x one uh, zero twenty four for the y we'll uh, insert the same thing one zero twenty four uh, for the Z, we'll insert 16, and for the wall thickness, we're going to insert 16. Now, as you can see, we create on build and close the, the Q properties. As you, as you can see, we have the floor. Uh, it has the red lines, and maybe you can't see the floor because you haven't had the CSG yet. So you can hit the CSG on your left panel. It says csg add or you can hit your control key plus a now as you can see we have csg added to the floor uh later on we'll you know uh we're going to be using uh the textures when the content browser put some uh i don't know maybe sand or something on the floor now let's click on the restore viewport uh viewport so we can have four uh, screens here now we need to create uh, the walls. Now for creating walls, right click on the cube again. And let's choose uh, 200, let me see. No, it's 16. Choose 16 on the X, 200 on the Y. No, my bad, again. That was supposed to be 1024. There we go. On the Z choose 200 there we go click on build and close uh, the property for the cube now we need to pull this up a little bit and pull it to the size so we can start creating the walls now hit the control key plus a that you have CSG on that wall go to the other side hit control uh, key plus a you have CSG on that one now we need to put it on the middle and we need to rotate this wall 
so we can create the other two walls to finish this map. Now click on the rotation mode on the top of your window. Now rotate the wall. There we go. Um, yeah, no, we're good. Now click on the translation mode again. Now pull it to the side. No, let me do it from here. There we go. Now hit the control key plus A. Same thing for the other side. Hit control key plus A. Now I know that maybe you guys are getting boring because you're saying you're seeing the same stuff, but this uh, these parts are really important when you are creating a game. You need to learn these steps first. Uh, so then you can go to advanced uh, setups. First, you need to learn the basics. Now, let's click here full screen. There we go. Now we have the floor and we have four walls. Now we need we need to add textures to these walls and to the floor. And for that, you will go to the content browser on the top of your window that it says "Open the content browser." This is a black. Uh, icon that you have on the top of your window. Now click on that icon and you will have your content browser. <coughs> My bad. <coughs> you will have your content browser. <laughs> now, let me choose something for the walls. You can choose anything you want. I just want to keep it really, really simple here. There we go. let's put something for the floor there we go now if you guys don't know uh, how to move uh, around like I'm doing uh, you need to work uh, for moving around like this so up and down left and right you need to uh, use your keys on your keyboard W S A and D and for just turning around up and down just like this turning your view you will use your right uh, right button on the mouse now we have uh, the walls and the floor you can add textures outside too as you can see but I'm just working on the inside so I'm gonna keep it really simple uh, this is only for beginners this is not a, uh, an advanced tutorial now we need to add a light point now why do we need to add a light point because if you add the light point when you start the game everything is going to be black and dark and you will you won't be able to see anything on the game now for doing that go to the middle of your floor and right click on the floor go to add actor and choose add light point now pull up the light you can have light on your room and if you think you don't have light enough, just click on the top of your window on the scale, scaling mode icon, and just expand the light so you can have more light on the room. Now, uh, click again on the translation mode. There we go. Now we need to add the player start. The player start is where you will be spawning on the game. Go to one of the corners on the map and right click on that corner. On the floor and choose add actor add player start now we have the player start right there so when we start again you will be spawning in this corner right here now let's go to the other corner click on the floor uh, right click on the floor go to add actor and add path node now by adding the path node here will the enemy will be spawning so uh, if it says it has a bad size just pull it up a little bit so it, can, uh, it doesn't say uh, it doesn't say that it has a bad size I'm going to show you guys what maybe that can do now as you can see uh, if it's too below uh, the floor it will say that it, ha that it has a bad size now pull it up there you go and then you're, you're good to go there now we need to set up the path node so the enemy can spawn one time or five times, uh, five times depending on how much time do you put on the setups on the configuration. Now click on the path node, go to view, go to Unreal Kismet. Now on the gray box, right click, go to New Action, Actor, Actor Factory. 
uh, what we are doing here is setting up the, the path node so we can spawn enemies on the game. Now right click again on, the, um, uh, on any gray area that you have on the, on the box on the middle. Now go to new event, level loaded. Now for the third time right click and choose new object bar using path node uh, 1. I have path node, uh, the path node 1 because my uh, Unreal Engine was open already. I was trying to make the tutorial uh, so I had to do it again. But uh, if you're creating a new project uh, and you just open the, uh, the Unreal Engine for the first time on the day, maybe it's going to be saying uh, path node 0. Now choose path node 1. I got an error here. That's bad. Okay. Now we need to link the loaded invisible with the spawn actor. And we need to link the spawn point with the path node. Now this will be creating a setup when the uh, the start uh, the game starts. Like loaded invisible is when the, uh, the game starts. That it has everything loading up. And everything is visible on the game. So that's where... Uh, the actor uh, factory is going to be working on. Now, click on the actor factory, go to the factory, choose your blue arrow that you have right here on the right, and choose UT actor factory AI. Now, after doing that, go. Uh, oh my God, my bad. Mm. Go to the force uh, dead match AI and check the box now you need uh, to choose on the pawn class you need to choose UT pawn do not choose anything else choose UT pawn first this is the ba uh, this is the basic tutorial just keep up with me don't uh, don't change anything to a different thing now on the pawn enemy uh, let's put the enemy one for the name and we you have two options here you can give the default inventory or you can give uh, another gun from the inventory list. Now I'm gonna give a gun from the inventory list because I want to see the uh, the enemy spawning with the rocket launchers. So click on the green cross that you have uh, for the inventory list and choose on the list uh, rocket launcher if you want to use the rocket launcher or the link gun or whatever gun that you have on the list. And now let's say that the enemy is gonna be spawning five times. So we insert five and hit enter. Now, when we start the game, uh, it's gonna give us error and error on the screen because the Unreal Engine is going to be trying to spawn five enemies at the same time and we haven't finished the setup. So it's gonna be giving us that error. Now close the Unreal Kismet. Now next for the tutorial, we need to build the lightning and the AI path. By building the lining, uh, when you build the lining, it's going to be creating all the lining and all the shadows that uh, that you will need on the game so the objects look really nice and smooth. Now for the AF path, when you create the AF path, the Unreal uh, Engine will know where uh, the path nodes uh, are going to be on the map. Now build go to the top of your window uh, to your window and go to build go to lightning and hit ok don't choose nothing else don't don't click on any checkbox just leave it like it is hit ok wait until it builds everything after it finishes may it maybe give you some errors it doesn't matter just close the map check go to the top of your window again go to build and click on AA path now it's gonna, maybe it's going to give you another couple of errors, so don't worry about that, just click on close. And for the last thing, we need to save the map, so let's go to save. Now you need to add, uh, to add uh, before the name that you're going to write down for the map, you need to add DM, uh, what, the, sign, uh, the minus sign after. Why? Because, because the Unreal Engine is going to detect, detect your map as a dead match game uh, game that uh, that's what DM means death match 
Uh, by doing this, the game will know it's a deathmatch game. And by this, when you start the game, you will spawn with a gun on the game. And the enemy will spawn on the map too. If you don't do this, the game is going to read everything like it's going to be a movie scene or something like that. And you won't be uh, you won't be spawning with guns or anything at all, uh, at all. And the enemies won't be spawning either. So let's put the M minus sign. Uh, I don't know. Test. You can put anything, uh, anything else that you want. Maybe you want to put the M minus sign on my map or or dm or whatever or something like that it doesn't matter just remember to put the dm first now hit save i'm gonna overwrite this because i already have one yeah there we go now let's hit play there we go <clears throat> and we have the freaking enemy spawning around die nigger oh nigger you just killed me what the hell there we go Gonna kick your ass. There we go. So I am the winner. Well, guys, uh, that was all. Like I said, you guys, I uh, I just created this uh, tutorial once again in HD because it was asked by the users on YouTube. The nothing. Are we? I'll be making the other tutorials in HD too, so you guys can watch it a little better. You can see what exactly I'm doing and what uh things uh things i'm typing on the screen uh, now this is angel from prgv entertainment <laughs> hit the like guys write a comment and if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe bye guys